Hey guys, welcome back to Pretty Uncensored. Today I am going to show you how I did a glam front entrance makeover for super cheap and all of it was do it yourself. I have no experience, so if I can do this, you can do this. I hope you guys actually can learn something from this and it provides a little inspiration for you to do in your own homes. This front entrance was so uninviting. It was cluttered. There was no spot to put your things. There was no place to sit to get your shoes on. It was a complete mess and it was just dark and dreary. So I did several different things which I am going to break down in this video. If you guys want to look in the description box, I will have links to where I purchased everything. And yeah, keep on watching. So here's a split screen that I call before and halfway done. So it took me a little while to get the entrance the exact way I wanted it and to find the decor items that I really was looking for. So this is just kind of at the midway point and you'll see in the next picture what the finished product looks like. I really think it turned out well. It was so cheap to do and I just followed a bunch of Pinterest inspiration and tutorials on how to make things yourself. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. Here is the finished product. I still have to change out the orange trim for white crown molding. So if you look to the right, that is a custom gallery wall that I did. Um, I installed on the left these beautiful barn doors for about $200 and I did that myself with doors that I had left over from my house. So I also redid the flooring with laminate vinyl waterproof flooring. It took about a weekend to do all of the floors. It absolutely looks beautiful. I'm so happy with it. I added a bench and a rug and just made that space so much more clean, inviting, and welcoming. Also, there is a chandelier up top that I purchased and did a little do-it-yourself makeover on, which I will get into later in the video, but that was one of my biggest scores. Here is the gallery wall that I made. I know it looks a little cluttery, but that was my personal preference. I really wanted it jam packed with things that mean a lot to me and stand out and have kind of a secret meaning behind them. So I made a bunch of these signs myself. Some I purchased online. A lot of it was do it yourself or refurbished items. So if you are interested in doing a gallery wall, I highly recommend it. I think it adds so much whimsy and character and it kind of tells a story as soon as you walk into the house, which I really like. Here is a close up of some of the signs. So basically what I was looking for was signs that kind of tell mine and my family's story. Um, signs that just say, you know, welcome and talking about home because I think it fit at the entrance so well. Um, I used a lot of reclaimed wood from a deck I built in the backyard and some paint from the dollar store and painted a bunch of these signs myself. It was super easy. You can find great ideas on Pinterest to customize for your house. And a lot of this stuff cost me just a few dollars. So all you have to do is kind of use your imagination, have a plan and go for it. In keeping with the customizing for my family, um, the number four I painted, it just represents there are four people in my family. I made the little D sign out of a piece of scrap wood and it represents our last name. The K, I purchased a piece of canvas from the dollar store for $2 and painted that and it is my first name and my daughter's last name. And then the 
55 that you see there that is part of our home address so I just picked up little coasters from the dollar store and hand painted them I just really like that it adds that personal touch and just kind of tells a story I thought that was a really cool touch to add to the gallery wall it just creates more purpose I custom made this little wreath off of a Pinterest project I saw online. I purchased the materials for $5 off of Amazon and I just like that it ties in the kind of rustic but yet modern and glam look that I was going for. It kind of plays off of the barn doors and just really brings everything together. So I thought that was just a cute little craft and super affordable. It would be a really good gift to make for somebody else. So if you guys are interested in that, um, there's tons of different ones on Pinterest. And then lastly for the gallery wall, I really wanted to use a lot of like galvanized steel and metals. I just thought, like I said, it ties in kind of the rustic look. And so I purchased all of these off of either Zulily or Amazon. And I just think it just adds a little texture kind of to the walls. I really like the way the metal plays off of the dark floors and the dark gray accent wall. So here was my big steel item. I was in Home Depot, not looking for anything like this. I walked by the lighting section and I saw a tag that said $3.59 and it was scratched out and said $49. I couldn't believe it, so I grabbed two of these. They were a really orangey brass color, so I taped off the electrical wires and bought a heat resistant spray paint. So I spray painted it and then I applied the individual crystals, which took hours, but for 49 bucks, I was so happy and I think it just really glams up that front entrance. It has so much light and I just really think it has the perfect amount of glam and that kind of country rustic with the metal. So here is another part of my favorite area. It is custom barn doors that I made myself. I had priced out barn doors and they were over $1,000. So I got super ambitious and I took two doors from my house that were orange. I painted them with General Finishes Snow White paint and added a satin poly on top of it. So I did that. I added the hardware from Amazon. I added little door stoppers to each side of the door. So they are on magnet so you can open them and they stay open or you just close them so you can't see the mess in my kitchen when you first walk in. The track on top was 210 Canadian dollars off Amazon. I think that it was such a steal because it is 10 foot barn doors. So I added a piece of trim I had left over and then mounted the hardware on top of it. It was kind of a crazy project to do, but I saved myself thousands of dollars and gave it that rustic paint look and I just absolutely love it. So I think it's kind of funny to add this in, but I found this on Amazon and I was looking into them for the longest time and they're about $300 or upwards from there. I found this for $45 and it is now the exact same one is selling for $221. So I got such a good deal on that. If you just look around and shop around, you will find little things like this that you get for so cheap and you just have to really take that extra time to do the research and that's one of my favorite things to do when I'm doing these little makeovers. Another thing that I added was this vinyl window clean film. I purchased it off Amazon. I thought it was so weird that when somebody comes to your door they can see you before you have a chance to decide if you want to see them. So for about $7, I solved that problem. 
So once again, here is the finished product. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. It didn't take me long at all. I did a lot of bargain hunting and a lot of do-it-yourself projects. It would have cost me a ton of money if I had hired somebody to do this. So as you can see, I just added the new flooring and a thick, nice, flat trim, which gave it that upscale look I was going for. I really think it works together nicely and is super inviting. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys would like to see more, comment below. I have lots of projects I've done in my house lately. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.